Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to attempt to recover corrupt files from your USB flash drive or pen drive. So while nothing is guaranteed to work on a corrupted hard drive, depending on you know how severe it is, obviously, and how long the data has been gone, um, in today's tutorial, we're going to make a real attempt to try and recover data you may have on your flash drive. And everything we show in this tutorial is going to be you know, free. There's no paid options. They're going to be explored in this video. Everything's going to be, you know, just using basic built-in Windows utilities, as well as a third-party utility named Recuva. And there is a paid version for that, but I always use the free version. So again, you can use a paid version of other software too, but I like keeping my tutorials free. You know, I don't like adding any extra stuff to it. So pretty straightforward process, and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up File Explorer. If you want to search for it in the search menu, you can. Otherwise, just open up the task bar icon. And then select this PC on the left side. You want to right-click on the drive that you're having the problems with. So the flash drive, in our case, is named New Volume. Again, in your case, it might probably be something different. But go ahead and right-click on it. And you want to select Properties. Select the Tools tab. And then you want to select where it says Error Checking. This option will check the drive for file system errors. Select Scan Drive, and you can see it didn't find any errors, so maybe it will in your case, and you just would select OK. Hopefully that would have resolved the problem for a good number of you guys. So something else we could try here as well, if we go onto a web browser, doesn't matter which one, I'm going to open up Google Chrome, and as I already said, I believe earlier in the video, I'm going to just go to Google, and I'm going to type in Recuva Download. And Recuva is owned by CCleaner, so just go ahead onto CCleaner.com and go ahead and open this up. So notice there is a free and professional version. We're going to select the free version here and just give it a moment. And once it's done downloading, go ahead and open up the executable to run it. And just give it a moment here. Select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. And I accidentally ran it a couple times there, obviously. So I'm going to select Customize. I'm going to uncheck all the options except for Desktop Shortcut. And then I'm going to select Install. You can remove this program once we're done using it today. So anyway, we're going to select Next. Select All Files. And then Next again. Select In a Specified Location. Select Browse. And then Navigate again to that drive you're having the problem with, which in our case is the new volume drive. So navigate to that directory and select OK, and then select Next, and then select Start. And the, the drive was empty to begin with, so that's why it's not showing anything here. However, if there were items in here, you can run a deep scan and then select Yes. And if there was anything found, it should give you an option to recover them. There's a little Recover button. And it'll give you the breakdown, whether it's you know fully recoverable, partially recoverable, or unrecoverable. So you got like green, yellow, and red, depending on how severe the corruption is. So definitely worth a shot, guys. A couple utilities, the one was built into the Windows, and then Recuva, which I've used quite a number of times, I would say. With mixed success, it doesn't always work, but sometimes it does get you out of a jam. So, you know, if anything, hopefully you guys, you know, back up your data and keep it more secure in the future because you always run into those problems, you know, especially with those removable flash drives are pretty easy to corrupt. So, because they take a lot of physical damage, I would say, you know, they're jostled around a lot in your pocket, they fall on the floor, you know, it doesn't take too much to damage a hard drive. So, pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.